Live from the 107th floor of the Cat Country 107.3 studios, just outside beautiful Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's the Joe and Shauna Sunrise Challenge. It's your chance to fire up your brain and show South Jersey exactly who you are. Now, here are your hosts, Joe and Shauna. Shauna, who's her contestant? We've got Joanna from Cape May Courthouse. Joanna, thanks for and welcome to the Cat Country Sunrise Challenge. Thank you. Hi, Joanna. We have a Hi. question. We have a question for you, but before we get to that, we have a practice question. Okay. I, I see you, you love country music and concerts. What was the favorite your favorite country concert you've ever been to? Uh, recently, Hardy. Hardy. Oh, that you, was quick. Where'd you see Hardy at? Um, Camden. Nice. What'd you like best so about good. the show? So good. He's just an entertainer. So would he be your all-time favorite concert, you think? Or do you have uh, one even more? That's hard. I saw Garth Brooks when I was 12, uh, and he has my heart forever. So uh, <laughs> Garth's hard to beat. I'll give you that for sure. I know. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Joanna, we're going to play our Joe and Shauna Sunrise Challenge. So what we're going to do is ask you a question, and you're going to have to name five things within 10 seconds. Okay. And if you do that, you win. So what okay. I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you what you have to do, and then I'll repeat it, and then I'll say go, and then you'll the timer will start, and you'll have 10 seconds. Okay. All right. So, Joanna, in Cape May Courthouse, we need you to name five Cape May County towns or cities whose names don't begin with the letter C. So, again, name five Cape May County towns or cities whose names don't begin with the letter C. Go. Go. Goshen, Delhaven, Swayton. Um... Two more, four seconds. Oh, so close. Cape May County, that could have been Petersburg, Marmora. I know. I was staying close. I was staying close. Oh, no. oh man. But you took a three out of five, ain't bad. Uh, Joanne, thanks for joining us on the Joe and Jonna Sunrise Challenge. Thank you. This has been the Joe and Jonna Sunrise Challenge from Cat Country 107.3. <laughs> Good morning. We're three things you need to know this morning. Tolls on the Atlantic City Expressway will go up again next year. The South Jersey Transportation Authority approved a budget for the next fiscal year that features a 3% toll hike on the highway. The new rate takes effect January 1st. Well, there's no extra toll for an extra passenger on the Garden State Parkway in Cape May County the other night. A mom gave birth to a baby on the parkway in Upper Township around 9 p.m. Upper Township EMS Squad 21 and Seaville Volunteer Fire Company were dispatched to the northbound side Seville Fire Rescue shared to Facebook that 10 minutes after arriving at the scene, Amelia Charlotte was delivered. Baby and mom were taken to the hospital, and both are doing very well. I was hoping they would have named her Easy Pass. No. A career game for Saquon Barkley rushed for a franchise record 255 yards to lead Philadelphia over the L.A. Rams last night, 37-20. Seven straight wins for the Eagles. They're now 9-2 and two on the season. Go, Birds! And your South Jersey weather for today. It'll be sunny with a high of 50. Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jana. Time now for Jana's Fangirl Update. And we're talking about Luke Bryan and Blake Shelton. Their feud continues. Blake Shelton said that he no doubt would beat Luke Bryan in an arm wrestling match. Because he thinks Luke's on steroids. <laughs> Luke Bryan fired back. He was like, Blake, um, is there steroids in donuts? Is that how I'm on steroids? Then Luke Bryan said anything Blake Shelton can do, he himself can definitely do it better. Don't worry. This isn't a real feud, okay? They just bust on each other all the time. Apparently, no signs of stopping anytime soon either. But you can keep up with the Luke Bryan, Blake Shelton feud. I say feud with quotes. Right now at CatCountry1073.com. Jelly Roll, you'd probably never know this, but he's actually very, very grateful for something Taylor Swift did before the pair even met each other. So Taylor had come up to introduce herself at some award show. Jelly Roll was so tongue-tied because he was trying to thank her for the swings that he that she put in at a Hendersonville Park, which is near Nashville, where Jelly Roll used to take his daughter Bailey to push her on the swings. He couldn't even get those words out to her. We've got that up for you right now. Make sure you check it out on the Cat Country 107.3 app. The Jonna's Fangirl Update on Cat Country 107.3. Jonna, we got a brand new deal today. It's a wonderful trip to Alabama to see Morgan Wallen's own Sand in My Boots Festival. It's three big days. You get tickets to all the days of the festival. 
Morgan Wallen, Jelly Roll, and scores more. We're going to be there. We're going to give you the trip, airfare, hotel, $500 spending money, and two three-day passes if you're the winner. Today's the day. Five chances to win today in the morning at 8.20 and 10.20, in the afternoon at 1.20 and 4.20, and in the evening at 7.20. All the details, how to win, when, where, catcountry1073.com, the Cat Country 107. Good morning, we're Joe and Jana. It's it's time to be cooler than your friends. Your friends are out there getting the tattoos, but you're going to get a... Karato, uh, karato pigmentation, that is, What's you're going to get your eyeballs, the color permanently changed. I don't, that doesn't sound safe, but oh. go on. Tattoo your eyes for $12,000. The procedure allows people to permanently change their eye color. Huh. The process involves a laser to create donut shaped holes in your cornea, the outer layer of the eye, injecting pigment to cover the iris, resulting in a new and irreversible eye color. Sure. What could go wrong? Well, critics have raised concerns about the risk associated with corneal tattooing, in part because some dyes have not been cleared by the FDA. Ew, no. But I'm sure it's fine. Country 107.3, mornings with Joe and Jonna. Time now for your Cat Country Joke of the Morning. Here we go. Doug in Galloway has sent us today's joke. Thank you, Doug. All right, Doug. Thanks so much. Teacher asked little Noah if he knew his numbers. Noah said, yeah. <laughs> My father taught me. Good, said the teacher. What comes after three? Noah said four. Teacher continued. What comes after six? Noah said seven. Very good, said the teacher. Your dad did a good job. What comes after 10? Noah said, Jack. Three mornings with Joe and Jana. Turkey Bowling returns Wednesday, our 27th annual Joe Kelly Cat Country Turkey Bowling Challenge. We'll be bowling turkeys in the parking lot of Galloway Auto and Tire, Route 9 in Summers Point. We'll have the turkey. You show up. You throw the turkey down the parking lot. You knock over pins. You win prizes. Yes, it's that easy. And you know we love to do it every year. We love to see you, so make sure you come out. Somebody's going to win uh, passes to next summer's Barefoot Country Music Fest in Wildwood. Nice. Hope to see you there Wednesday morning with Cat Country 107.3. Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and Jonna. Time now for your Cat Country Dumb Story of the Morning. Where are we going? London, England. A pregnant woman gave birth to in a hospital elevator on her way to the delivery room. Mother and baby are doing fine, but the guy riding with them had to be treated for a broken finger from pushing the button for his floor again and again and again and again. If I said, we'd like to send you to Alabama, you'd probably say, what? I don't want to go there. No, but we're going to send you to a really cool festival in Alabama, the Morgan Wallen Festival. Three big days of great music featuring Morgan Wallen himself. We have five chances for you to win the pass, uh, the, uh, the trip today. 8.20 and 10.20 in the morning, 1.20 and 4.20 in the afternoon, 7.20 in the evening, and then you go. You. It's firm. Good morning. We're just three things you need to know this morning. Tolls on the Atlantic City Expressway will go up again next year. The South Jersey Transportation Authority approved a budget for the next fiscal year that features a 3% toll hike on the highway. The new rate takes effect January 1st. Well, there's no extra toll for an extra passenger on the Garden State Parkway in Cape May County the other night. A mom gave birth to a baby on the parkway in Upper Township around 9 p.m. Upper Township EMS Squad 21 and Seaville Volunteer Fire Company were dispatched to the northbound side. Seaville Fire Rescue shared to Facebook that 10 minutes after arriving at the scene, Amelia Charlotte was delivered. Baby and mom were taken to the hospital and both are doing very well. I was hoping they would have named her Easy Pass. No. A career game for Saquon Barkley rushed for a franchise record 255 yards. To lead Philadelphia over the L.A. Rams last night, 37 to 20. Seven straight wins for the Eagles. They're now 9 and 2 on the season. Go, Birds. And your South Jersey weather for today. It'll be sunny with a high of 50. Scott Country, one of some for three mornings with Joe and Jonathan. That's George Birds. He was just added to the lineup to next June's Barefoot Country Music Fest in Wildwood. All right, here we go. Cat Country Morning Birthday shout out start right now. Let's do it. The latest happy birthday wishes to Lynn Clooney of Egg Harbor Township. Her birthday was yesterday. All right, Lynn. Happy birthday. Celebrating today, Kiriakis Giorgio of Egg Harbor Township is 41. Brian Danaki of South Egg Harbor is 37 today. Happy birthday to Anthony Johnson of Rio Grande. Vanessa DeRose of Ocean View celebrates today. Serge Fields of Galloway has a birthday. Happy birthday, Serge. Happy birthday to Robin Lamont, who's 65. Samantha Simcox of North Cape May is 54. And Joseph Lehman of Ocean City is 64. We missed you. Happy one to you as well. The recipient of our Cat Country Big Birthday shout out today, Brian Danaki of South Egg Harbor. Brian is Donna. Happy Monday. Coming up Wednesday, we're going to be live at Galloway Auto and Tire, Route 9 in Summers Point, 27th Annual Joe Kelly Cat Country Turkey Bowling Challenge. We'll have a turkey. You'll show up. You'll bowl the turkey across the parking lot trying to knock over pins. 
Uh, it's the best. It's the best thing you can do the day before Thanksgiving. Besides, like, you know, prizes. get your stuff ready. And we've got so prizes, prizes as prizes. well. Hope to see you there. And then uh, Thursday's Thanksgiving. Friday's Black Friday. Who do most people shop for on Black Friday, Jana? Themselves. Exactly right. Knew it. Because uh, that's what I do. More than, I'm awful. I'm sorry. More than 55% of people say their Black Friday shopping will be for themselves. First chance to win that new Morgan Wallen experience in Alabama. Comes up at uh, 820 this morning on Cat Country 107.3. Big weekend for movies. It was... What was the movie called, Jana? Wicked. Wicked came out. I didn't even get to see it yet. I didn't get to see it either. But I did go see Gladiator 2. It's been a lot of years since the original Gladiator. Well, that's what they're calling it. It's the new Barbie Oppenheimer. It's the new Barbenheimer weekend. But now they're calling it Glicked. I don't know about anything like that. Glicked. Gladiator 2 and Wicked. I don't care about stupid names that people give things. I know you don't. You're so boring. Gladiator 2 was a very long movie, but it was well worth it. I thought it was just as good as the original Gladiator. It was about, you know, Wicked was over two and a half hours. Gladiator was close to that. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. It was close to it. But it was, I'm not going to give the details, but I did learn some new moves. If you pull out in front of me in traffic today... Cat Country Morning Trivia is on the air. Number is 609-383-1073 or hit the call us button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Today's prize, two tickets to see Blake Shelton, Friends and Heroes. His 2025 tour will be at the Prudential Center up in Newark Thursday, March 6th. You win trivia, you'll have two tickets for that Blake Shelton show. Here's the question. This happened more often during the presidency of Benjamin Harrison between 1889 and 1893 than under any other presidency. That includes presidents like, well, these it didn't happen in, under any of these presidents. Either Bush, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Clinton, Obama, Trump, Biden. It's never happened. Oh. But it happened the most under the presidency of Benjamin Harris, more than any, Harrison, more than any other president. What happened the most under President Benjamin Harrison? Back country 107.3. Joe and Jonna. Morning trivia is on the air. It's day two tickets to see Blake Shelton. He's going to bring his Friends and Heroes tour to the Prudential Center in Newark in March. You'll have two tickets for the show if you win. Here's the question. This happened more often during the presidency of Benjamin Harrison than any other president. Harrison was president from 1889 through 1993. Or through 1893. This is something that didn't happen under the presidencies of either Bush, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Clinton, Obama, Trump, or Biden. Dang. Okay. What happened during Benjamin Harrison's presidency more than any other? Hi, Cat Country. New states were admitted. New, new states were admitted. Absolutely right. Yeah, You're like a winner. more states added. You're a winner. Oh, oh no way. Yes way. Who's this? Christy. Christy, did you know that or was that a good guess? That was a great guess. Oh, good for you. Where are you from, Christy? Northfield. We've got uh, two tickets for you to see Blake Shelton in the spring. Congratulations. Congrats, Christy. That's awesome. How many states became states under Benjamin Harrison's presidency, Jonah? What's your guess? Um, 18. Six. Oh. Oh. Let's see if you can name two of the six. You have six guesses. Go. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Minnesota. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Wisconsin. Okay. Is, you have I get four more, more guesses. Yes. Uh, four more guesses. Okay. Um, North Dakota, South Dakota. Okay. Arizona, Texas. You got two. North Dakota and South Dakota. Nice. Other ones were Montana, Washington, Idaho, and Wyoming. We're going to 7.3. Mornings with Joe and Jana. We mentioned the movie Wicked opened, number one movie easily over the weekend. I cannot wait to see it. I wasn't feeling well over the weekend, and I get to see it this weekend. I'm so excited. That's a wonderful story. I know. I'm so excited. It's actually part one of Wicked. Part two, you can get in line for that. November Uh, 21st. It comes out. Next year. You have to wait a whole year. Thank you, Jonna. Thank you for... Taking away my thunder. Appreciate I'm it. Sorry, I'm sorry. Jonna, we'd love to send you to Alabama. And you're probably thinking, why? Why would I want to go to Alabama? For good reason. Well, Morgan Wallen's Sand in My Boots Festival is happening there next spring. Three big days featuring Morgan Wallen, Post Malone, dozens more. We'd like to send you there for all three days. 8.20 this morning. It's going to be your first chance. Airfare, hotel, $500 spending money, passes to the show. 8.20 and 10.20 this morning, 1.20 and 4.20 this afternoon. 
720 tonight, your five chances to win. The good morning, we're things you need to know this morning. Tolls on the Atlantic City Expressway will go up again next year. The South Jersey Transportation Authority approved a budget for the next fiscal year that features a 3% toll hike on the highway. The new rate takes effect January 1st. Well, there's no extra toll for an extra passenger on the Garden State Parkway in Cape May County the other night. A mom gave birth to a baby on the parkway in Upper Township around 9 p.m. Upper Township EMS Squad 21 and Seaville Volunteer Fire Company were dispatched to the northbound side. Seaville Fire Rescue shared to Facebook that 10 minutes after arriving at the scene, Amelia Charlotte was delivered. Baby and mom were taken to the hospital and both are doing very well. I was hoping they would have named her Easy Pass. No. A career game for Saquon Barkley rushed for a franchise record 255 yards to lead Philadelphia over the L.A. Rams last night, 37-20. to Seven straight wins for the Eagles. They're now 9-2 and on the season. Go Birds! And your South Jersey weather for today. It'll be sunny with a high of 50... 50- Back country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jonathan. Time now for my favorite tweets from the last 24 hours. All right, let's do it. There are five of them. Number one, you're dead to me. Me on my first day as a mortician. Mm. Wow. Number, number two, everybody knows what to do, but very few people actually do it. Yes. Yes. Number three, I haven't seen Wicked. I'm already sick of it. Yeah. Stop it. I didn't even get to see it yet. Four, feeling sad because I wasn't invited to a social event that I wouldn't have attended in the first place. Why is that such a thing? We're Joe and Jonna. These are my favorite tweets. Last one, number five. Over here throwing away old cords with reckless abandon because I'm not a dad. Dads do save everything. I'm a dad and I have every cord ever produced. Uh, except for stuff that you probably don't, just, don't even know what it goes to. Just in case. Yeah. It goes by all those. And Wallen and his buddies have this three-day festival planned in Alabama in the spring. It's already sold out. It's happening in May. Already sold out. You can't get tickets. Morgan Wallen's going to be there. Post Malone, Hardy, Brooks and Dunn, Riley Green, Bailey Zimmerman, Ella Langley. The list goes on and on and on. Three day, three big days. However, we have two passes that we'd like to hand you for this sold out event. We want to get you there too. It's going to be a really good time. Airfare, hotel, five hundred dollars spending money, passes for the festival, all included. To win, what you need to do is listen for the Morgan Wallen codes five times each weekday. In the morning at 8.20 and 10.20. In the afternoon at 1.20 and 4.20. In the evening at 7.20. When you get a code, open up the Cat Country 107.3 app. If you don't have the app, download it onto your phone. It's free. It's easy. It's called Cat Country 107.3. When you get a code, open up the app. There's a button there that says Morgan Wallen. Tap the Morgan Wallen button and type in the code. And your first code in this contest is 2 2 one. Two, two, one. That's the code that you need right now. You're going to open up the app, but you're going to click the Morgan Wallen button. Two, two, one. Type it in just as your next code coming up 1020 this morning. Two, two, one. Good luck. Morgan Wallen, Sand in My Boots Festival on the Beach, Gulf Shores, Alabama. You 